good morning my loves welcome back to another vlog to start off this morning i have a very exciting haul from farfetch if you guys don't know farfetch is a website that brings together loads and loads of amazing designers boutiques brands um in the sort of luxury range and they have very kindly sponsored this part of today's video um, and I'm so, so excited to be working with them. Some of the things that make them unique, which I really, really love, is that they support local um, businesses, local boutiques. So when you buy from them, your items might be coming from a boutique from over 50 countries in the world, um, or one of their brand partners, which if you're trying to shop more consciously is obviously fantastic. Um, and they also have lots of pre-owned items on the website. So in general, I am just a massive fan of the website and everything that they do. Uh, and I'm very excited to share some bits with you today. I don't know if you guys remember, but around this time last year, I bought a few luxury items which I have worn so much ever since and I plan to wear them for many many years to come and I'm hoping that these items from Farfetch are going to also be things that I wear for many many years so I don't know if you guys remember but I bought this Kate um, jumper last year which I absolutely love I put it on again this morning it's obviously we're coming out of summer now and into autumn and so I haven't worn it for a little while and I put it on this morning and I was like I forgot how much I love this jumper and I also bought last year this Bite Studios blazer which I wear all the time. I will show you guys a little clip of the outfit I'm currently wearing although I'm probably going to switch it up so I can wear my new bits. Um, but yes, this is just a massive oversized black blazer. You cannot go wrong. And the final item that I bought last year that I wear all the time and that I love to death, I've worn them through summer as well is my Prada boots. I am still absolutely head over heels for these and I dread the day that I kind of wear them out. <laughs> I mean, they've got a thick sole, but you never know. Um, I have to just get them repaired because I love them. So yes, I haven't actually opened these things yet. I've been waiting to open them on camera, but um, I'm hoping that these things will serve me as iconic staples that will carry me through many, many seasons. So right, I'm gonna open them. Oh, before I do actually, um, one last thing, I have got a discount code, which I'll put on screen now. I'll write down below, information will be everywhere, but it's Sunbeams FF10 and that will get you 10% off your Farfetch order, which is super exciting. There are some T's and C's, so I'll put those down below as well, but that is super exciting. So I have a little browse, if you would like. But on to my little haul now. Sorry, that was a lot of rambling. So the first item is this gorgeous Jill Sander bag. So it's kind of like a little, what do you call these? Like a little bucket bag sort of thing. Um, I've become really low maintenance with my bags. I just want something small-ish, something light-ish, which this definitely is. That will just be versatile. I don't like carrying around as much stuff as I used to, so I'm definitely on the kind of smaller bag hype. Um, and this one just looks like the perfect size. Because it's a bucket bag as well though, I bet you could fit kind of a lot of stuff in here. It's deceptive. I bet I could fit a camera, like a bottle of water all that sort of stuff day to day but it's in this gorgeous kind of brown color it's quite a warm shade really really beautiful i also don't have many brown bags i'm trying to think i think i have one very big one um and i have a couple which are sort of purpley colored that kind of burgundy shade um but i don't have many that are actually just brown so i'm hoping this will fill a gap in that sense as well. The next item is this pair of faux leather trousers. Last year I was mostly into my black items and this year we're going with brown items. So yes, there's this gorgeous pair of sort of, I think they're a slight kick flare um, pair of faux leather trousers from Stoud. Um, and I'm very, very excited about these. They feel so soft, they don't have any of the weird kind of faux leather smell or, you know, that weird texture that it has sometimes. It feels really, really buttery, really, really soft and absolutely gorgeous. Again, quite a warm shade, um, it's different but still kind of warm. It's not something that I have a lot of in my wardrobe really. Um, but anyway, I'll try these on for you guys and let you know what I think. And finally, <laughs> I'm very excited about these. 
I have a pair of Burberry shoes. I am so excited. First of all, look at this like pistachio. I don't know if it's going to come up very nice on camera. This pistachio coloured paper and dust bag. Like, how gorgeous. So, I went for something that I really don't have in my current wardrobe at all, um, but is still me. Um, so, I got these. I'm obsessed. So, again, I've got myself a pair of very chunky soled shoes. Um, but these are obviously very different. I can't remember what these are called. They're not Oxfords. But yeah, they're kind of like school shoes with an edge. They're obviously in that sort of burgundy colour. See, Burberry just calls them loafers. Um, but one thing I do think is that I feel like I need some fancy socks for these. I'm going to have to, I want to wear them today, so I'm going to have to think about that carefully. Yeah, I want to get myself some snazzy socks because I think they deserve them um very much so but anyway you guys i'm gonna try these items on so yes don't forget about the discount code very important stuff sunbeams ff10 um and yes i am gonna go try on my new bits i'm very excited um and then zach and i are gonna go on a little excursion which i'm also very excited about actually so my loves here are the stout trousers I was most worried about these obviously because with trousers it's all about the fit especially on a slightly shorter person like myself kick flares can look pretty weird <laughs> but actually they're less kick flurry than um, I thought they were which is actually really nice they're more kind of straight leg with a tiny tiny little flare and I really really like them they're kind of one of those pieces that's slightly unique um, don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, but also something you could wear all the time. Um, obviously I've just got mine on with a white t-shirt right now, and it instantly sort of makes an outfit, kind of a staple, but a unique staple, which I really, really love. In general, I am just a really, really big fan. I like the colour, um, yeah, I just think they're really, really fun. So, love these, big, big hit. So my loves, here are the shoes, I am obsessed with them. Um, because I wanted to wear them with these trousers today, I did go with black socks and try on various slightly wilder ones that I had in my wardrobe, but I decided black at the end. But like I said, I do want to get myself some little socks, maybe some little frilly ones. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is my outfit for today. I've got lots of shades of brown, so I actually think I can get away with also wearing the bag today because because we're just doing all the tones of brown. But yeah, I'm wearing this little vest, um, little knit vest, which I'm loving. And I think it kind of goes with the with the vibe. And then obviously a brown blazer as well. Both of those pieces are from Arquette. Come on up. So we have come today to Hampton Court Palace, but now we actually don't know if it's open, which is just a classic us move. But we're gonna have a little explore see if it's open or not but we're gonna have a little look around but yeah I want we've wanted to come here um, for a little while we were watching um, Phil Spencer's Stately Homes and Hampton Court was on there and just been really enjoying all the all the history and also of course Hampton Court was a very big part of Henry VIII history and as we know, I've been obsessed with Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall trilogy this year. I was looking forward to going in and having a look around. I think I have been before, um, but Zach hasn't been, but we don't know if it's open. Okay guys, Hampton Court itself is not open. However, we are going to do, it's called the Thames Walk, and hopefully we'll see some things from there. Um, I think it'll still be nice. No, pal no palace for us today. Um, I want to come back and do it. Right? We'll come back and do it another tomorrow. day. <laughs> so no, we can't come tomorrow. We can't come tomorrow, but we will come back and do it. So.
home now. I had a little bit of a nightmare trying to get out of Home Park because we discovered that Home Park, which is kind of adjacent to um, Hampton Court and the grounds, and is basically just a park with lots of deer in it, which is nice. It's currently deer culling season. Um, so they have most of the gates shut, whereas usually they'd all be open and we could not find an open gate and thankfully this very nice man that's out through his um, garden gate but we were very confused and we were wandering around for a little bit longer than I would have liked um, but it was nice it was sad that we couldn't go in today because um, I was really geared up to learn a bit of history today <laughs> but it was still nice we got to see both of the kind of facades of Hampton Court so the sort of older Tudor facade and then I can't remember the dating on the second facade but the big kind of slightly more palatial looking um, facade which is newer not super new but just newer <laughs> than 16th century so yes that was it was nice to see them and we will hopefully go back soon and do a proper look around because I think if you go in the morning on a weekday or whatever it's got to be pretty quiet at the minute um, because of the lack of tourists around at the moment um, so yes hopefully we will go sometime soon we are back home now gonna do some work and bits for the rest of the afternoon nothing particularly exciting really need to get into my book um, I started it very briefly yesterday before I got distracted and had to do something else and I'm enjoying it already which is Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. Um, heavily tipped to at least be in the shortlist for the booker because um, people seem to really love it. Also I am wearing the one of the Bear, what's it called? Okay it's called the Bear Pro, Bear Minerals, Bear Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation today. For the first time in ages, the last time I put this foundation on, it was a very, very long time ago. And I'm wanting something a little bit fuller coverage at the moment, just because I'm looking a little bit tired, a little bit worn down <laughs> in life at the minute. Um, and I'm loving it. I think it's so, so nice. It is kind of a medium to full coverage, but it sits really lightly on the skin. Um, this is not an ad, but... Obviously I am working with Bare Minerals at the moment in general, but I'm just loving it. And also everything just sits so nicely on top of it as well. Big, big fan if you're wondering what's on my skin today. But yes, I've been noticing it every time I look in the mirror and thinking, hmm, it looks lovely. But yes, you know I love their base products very, very much. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to get on with some chores and bits and check in with you in a bit. So guys, I finished up my work for the day. So I am settling down with some buttery crumpets and my book, Shuggy Bane. Um, and I'm going to do some reading for a little while before the day is up. And I'm very excited about it. Also, you guys I mentioned this on my stories yesterday, but I have started a new notebook. And I'm very excited about it. I love me a fresh notebook. I filled up my other one, which I don't obviously have down here with me, but I'll show you. I'll do a little flick through because it's quite satisfying. But, ugh, number three. Book notebook number three. I don't know why it's not focusing. I can't remember what colour this is, but I will write it up down below and link it for you guys. And then I personalise them by putting the little numbers on. But yes, love it. Okay, I ruined, then, I ruined a ruined sex presentation. No, he's sad. But he's made a very lovely masaman curry, and there was some pickled vegetables, some of which you can still see. Hi, my love. So, as you can see, I'm ready for bed now. I'm very excited to be getting into bed. Had a nice, chill evening, obviously, doing my reading. And then, um, Zach and my new obsession is Below Deck. That's my new Bravo show. <laughs> after I complained about not knowing what to watch on the TV at, at the moment now we're into Below Deck it's bad how much reality TV that I have watched I just remembered I actually promised you guys a little flip through this a little satisfying flip through my second book notebook it actually arrived from Leuchtturm like this which I wasn't very happy about at the time I did not do that but it is looking a little more battered and bruised than my new one um, it also lost the little um, age marker thingies. 
Here we go. Lots and lots of notes. One minute and I'll count how many books I wrote about in this book. Okay, I read 129 books in the time that it took me to fill in this notebook, starting with Elephant and Other Stories by Raymond Carver, and we ended with Real Life by Brandon Taylor. This obviously is not all the books, I had to make other contents pages, but yes. So yes, I think I started in July of last year, finished towards the end of August of this year. So almost a year, it's kind of frustrating, I sort of wish I'd completed it in a year, but I did not. <laughs> I wonder how, if it will be sort of the same for my next notebook. Who knows, but I'm excited to document th them all. I've also, in the front of my books, started to write um, the month, year, uh, and year as I read them with my name as well, because I just think it's nice and it will hopefully help people match up notebooks with books in the future if they care to. They probably won't care to and it'll just be me. Also I think it's just a nice thing to do. It kind of brings your library together so that even if one day my library is scattered across the world um, in new owners hands there'll be a little bit of me in the books even if I don't really like writing actual notes in the books if that makes sense. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you again very soon. Bye!